Hi guys, this is the Scragster from iPhoneBlogger.com. Uh, today we're going to be showing you a tutorial on how to install an application called Plex on your Apple TV. Um, this is a great application. It basically works uh, as a as a client for your Apple TV, um, allowing you to stream audio and video uh, from a server which is on your MacBook um, or your Apple desktop computer. Um, awesome main advantage of it is that. It allows you to uh, play videos that aren't in it, just an MP4 format, um, which the Apple TV restricts. Um, so you can play all kinds of formats that uh, the application allows you to, basically. Um, so we're going to, um, for the tutorial, we're going to assume that uh, you've got the server all set up and running. Uh, so it's real, really simple, really easy to do. Um, basically, just download the install file for it um, from a link just below this video. Um, and just install it, click next, next, finish basically. Um, so from here um, everything's all set up, the server's all set up. Um, so we're going to um, start off the tutorial. Um, basically first thing we need to do um, is you need to copy um, this address here um, from the commands file which you can download um, from the link that's just below the video as well. Um, just copy that link um, open up Safari and then in the address bar just paste that in and hit enter. Um, basically this will just change the settings within Plex um, the server running on your computer um, to allow um, the beta files of Plex to be installed. Um, so those settings are now changed we can go ahead and quit Safari. Um, now go ahead and open Plex Um, so this is um, the server application that will be running on your computer. Um, so what we need to do now is using your keyboard, just simply press up, um, go to Plex Online and hit Enter. And then go down to More. And then hit Check for Updates. Um, this will check the media servers um, and update all the uh, beta settings. So once that's done, once that's done, simply hit OK. Um, now, don't worry about closing Plex. Um, you can just go ahead and minimize that. First thing we need to do um, is open up Terminal. Um, so to do that, just on your MacBook, just go to Spotlight and type Terminal and hit Enter. Um, I've got a list of commands um, in the commands file that you can simply use um, and just copy them in, that'll make it really simple. Um, to do this we're making two assumptions. Um, first of all that your Apple TV has jail been jailbroken using the Pwnage tool. Um, if it hasn't been and you need a quick tutorial on how to do this, um, just simply click here um, for a video that I made yesterday. Um, second condition is that your Apple TV is on the same network as the computer um, that you're connecting from. So if those are met, simply go into the commands file and copy the first command, paste it into terminal. Um, now just enter the IP address of the Apple TV. Um, this will be different for most people. For me this is 10.1.1.11 oh, sorry, .12, sorry. Um, then hit enter. Um, it might ask you to authenticate the Apple TV. Um, in that case just type yes and hit enter. Um, next it'll ask you for the password. If you haven't changed this, um, the default password will be Alpine. It's A-L-P-I-N-E. So for me, that's the same, and hit enter. Great, so now we're at the root, uh, we have root control of the Apple TV. So we'll just go through and enter a few commands. You can just again copy these from the command file and hit enter. So first command, enter Next command, enter. Great, now we need to copy the fourth command and hit enter. Um, now this will get all the updates for the files that we've just entered. Um, this will download them from the servers, servers and copy them um, to your Apple TV. So now go to command 5 from the commands file. Copy that in and hit enter into terminal. So that will go ahead and install those files into your Apple TV. Now we'll just type that last command, um, this simply just kills low tide, the application on the Apple TV. 
um, and restarts it, so hit enter. Um, if you're watching your TV now, your um, Apple TV will just restart. Um, and all going well, um, if you've done everything right, then you'll have Plex um, installed along the menu on your Apple TV. Um, so we'll just jump upstairs and have a look at that. Great, so we've just come upstairs. Um, you can see on the Apple TV here that um, we've got Plex all installed. Um, you can see along the menu there. Um, so if we just go across to Plex um, and then hit on Servers, um, then you'll be able to see the server that's running on your MacBook or um, Apple desktop. If you click on there um, and then click on Movies, um, you'll be able to um, look through the list of all the movies that are stored on your computer, so TV series, that kind of thing. Um, you better click on it and simply stream the video uh, from your computer onto your Apple TV. Uh, depending on the connection, um, the quality might be good, it might be bad, might take a while to load up, but there you go. Great, so we now have the Plex client all installed on the Apple TV second generation. Thanks for watching our tutorial and be sure to check out iphoneblogger.com for more.